What's going on everyone? I'm Matt from Universal Audio and today I'm going to show you how to get high quality audio for your live streams with no latency or feedback using OBS and Apollo interface and console. So I'm basically going to use console as my virtual mixer where I route the output of all the different applications that I want to use into virtual channels and then I can mix it with my live input such as my stream mic. You can see right here I already have my stream mic set up with my vocal chain. If you want to see how I set up my vocal chain, see our other Office Hours video where I go through how to set up a channel strip preset for the SD1 microphone. Uh, if you got any questions you'd like to see answered in future videos, make sure to leave them down in the comments below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Now let's dive in and check this out. All right, so I've got OBS installed and opened up on the screen. Uh, now there's lots of guides out there that'll show you how to set up the video side of OBS, so I'm not gonna cover that today. We're just gonna focus on the audio side and how to get high quality stereo audio from your Apollo interface. Um, so the first thing you want to do here is click the settings button in the right hand corner and then go to the audio tab and under mic auxiliary audio we're just going to click on the drop down and set that to universal audio thunderbolt which is the apollo's driver now obs is going to listen to the first two inputs and in the apollo driver so we're going to have to customize what inputs are actually on those first two channels which we'll get to in a second um, for now once you set that to universal audio thunderbolt you can click ok and this mic aux source will show up in the audio mixer now this is our apollo audio I'm going to right click and go to rename and just name it console audio to make it easier to follow. So now that I've got that source added in OBS, I'm going to do the rest of the setup in console. So let's switch over here. Now in console, uh, basically the goal here is to route all the audio that I'm going to need for the stream into virtual channels in console so that I can mix everything, uh, set their levels, set their panning, and even process them with UAD plugins if I want to before setting them off to OBS. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, OBS is only going to listen to the first two inputs in the Apollo's driver. So the first thing we need to do is customize the Apollo's driver to make sure those first two inputs are what we want OBS to listen to. So the way we're going to do this is click the settings button in the bottom left corner of console. And then we're going to go to the IO matrix panel, which is where we can customize the inputs and outputs in the Apollo driver. So you'll see that the first six channels are the first six inputs on my Apollo X6. And below that, there's the input channels called monitor left and monitor right. What these are are basically a way to record whatever I'm sending to the monitor left and right outputs on my Apollo into another application like OBS. Um, but like I mentioned, OBS only listens to the first two inputs on my Apollo. So I'm going to want to move those monitor left and right channels up to channels one and two. Um, so basically, I'm just going to swap this so that monitor left and right are input channels one and two. And then the first six inputs on my Apollo X6 come after that. So I just got to click here on the input section, set the first channel to monitor left. Do the same thing for the next one and set it to monitor right. And then below that, I'm going to set that first input to line one. I'm going to turn on cascade. I'm just going to hold down on three and drag down. That's going to assign the rest of my line inputs nice and easy. Now I have the first two inputs are monitor left and right, which is what's going to be fed into OBS. And then input channels three through eight are line one through six on my Apollo X6. So I still have access to all of my IO, but those monitor left and right channels are where I need them to be for OBS. So now that I have my inputs and outputs configured the way I need them, um, the next step is to set up the virtual channels that I'm going to use to route the output of my other applications into console. Um, so you'll see down here, I have four virtual channels exposed. This is all I'm going to need for my setup. I basically just need two pairs, one pair for my DAW audio and one pair for my system audio, which is things like Chrome, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, whatever applications you have on your computer. Um, so I'm going to set these up by link stereo linking them. Um, so I'm just going to click on the virtual one label here and click the link button. That's going to link virtual one and two together. And then I'm going to name it DAW audio. I'm going to do the same thing for virtual three and four. I'm going to link it and then I'll name it system audio. So now I have these two pairs of virtual channels where I can route the output of my other applications into console, mix them and process them the way I want to before I send it off to OBS. All right, so now that I've got my virtual channels configured in console, the next step is to route the output of my DAW and the output of system audio into those virtual channels. So now I have Ableton Live open and I'm ready to route the output of Ableton into those virtual channels in console. And the way that I do that is come down here to the master channel and set the output to virtual one and two. Um, you can see that I have labels for my outputs in live. If you don't have labels, you can just use the channel numbers here, which you'll remember from earlier, were 11 and 12 for virtual one and two. So now whenever I play anything in my DAW, it's going to show up on the virtual one and two channels in console, which I've named DAW Audio. So now I've got DAW Audio routed into console via the virtual channels. I'm going to do the same thing for system audio using audio MIDI setup. So in the audio MIDI setup window, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the Apollo is set as the output device. You can tell by the little speaker icon next to the name. If it's not set as the output device, just right click and select use this device for sound output. Once you've done that, click configure speakers and we're going to set the left and right channels to virtual three and four. 
I'm going to hit apply. And now when I play any system audio from my browser, iTunes, Spotify, whatever apps I have on my computer, it's going to come into virtual three and four in console. Just like that. Okay, so now I have my applications routed into console via the virtual channels. I can mix them with my live inputs like my stream mic, and I'm almost ready to start recording in OBS. Um, the last thing that I want to do here is set up a discrete headphone mix, basically so I can control what I hear in my headphones separately what gets sent off to the stream. Um, this is really cool if I don't want to hear the sound of my voice in my headphones, or if I want to preview things like a DAW session or a YouTube video before I actually send the audio to the stream. So it's a really powerful way to control exactly what you're hearing and what the stream is hearing separately. So to do this, I'm going to click the Q outputs button on the right side of console to open the Q outputs panel, and I'm going to set the Q1 source to Q1. Then I'm gonna route Q1 to my headphone output by clicking the corresponding button. Now, whatever I send to Q1 from the input channels will be heard in my headphones. So I'll come in here and turn up the Q send for each of the channels that I have audio routed to. Now, what's really cool about this is the Q sends are actually pre-fader. So even if I come down here and mute this channel, I'll still be able to hear it in my headphones. And this is a really powerful way to be able to preview things before I send them out to the stream. For example, say I wanna load up a DAW session in the background and hit play to make sure it sounds good before I let the stream hear it. Okay, so now I have all my sources in console. I've got everything mixed and processed the way I want it. I'm delivering a nice clean stereo feed to OBS, which you can see in the meters down below. This is the quick and easy way to do this on Mac. If you want to see this kind of setup on Windows or with any other kind of streaming application, definitely make sure to let us know in the comments down below. And if you got any other questions that you'd like to see answered in a future Office Hours video, let us know as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of those future videos, and we'll see you next time.